Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be discussing AI in construction. What are some of the pros? What are some of the cons? How is it going to benefit you as a union carpenter or just in the trades period? And what are going to be some of the downfalls inevitably that are going to come from AI integrating into construction? Let's get into it. So let's start on a positive note. I want to talk about some of the benefits that AI and technology are going to bring into the trades and construction. First and foremost, the construction industry tends to lag when it comes comes to integrating the newest and greatest technology. It's on the cutting edge, but that means that we have a lot of room to integrate, to become more productive. And so I think that's a positive thing. I know when I first started seven years ago, people were still using paper plans, even though iPads were widely accessible, but a lot of guys tend to lean to um, what's tried and true, the methods that they know work. But some of the flaws in using paper plans and old school methods is you're not getting the updated version and you have to print off just like tons and tons and reams of paper to have these plans you know, constantly have things change or have a couple of sheets change and trying to integrate that, it's a big mess. So using like iPads, when you could have a direct update come down where RFI was spotted and now you have a different revision, now you see all these things in real time, that's really, really beneficial. And I can see that happening in a wide scale when it comes to construction, whether it be, you know, having an AI assistant where you can have a task and you give it the square footage and then say, okay, I need this many fasteners, maybe if it's a demo job, I need this many sawzall blades, I need this many saw blades, and then it having a back catalog of all the information, and so then it's taking some of the guesswork out of bidding a job, or if you are a foreman, it's gonna give you an assessment of what it thinks you need in a wide range using information from a past job. I think one of the major benefits you're gonna see with AI and it being able to analyze your prints is being able to give your apprentices and uh, your subcontractors a a little more autonomy when it comes to being able to ask it questions directly and it being able to fire off answers for you and giving you the page number and the quadrant where those answers can be found so you can verify like say you're um, on the third floor and you're wondering uh, third floor fifth room where exactly does the shower start or where exactly is does the backing land and it being able to give you those direct answers I think it's gonna be huge and save a lot of time because I know reading prints is kind of left more towards the foreman or uh, later journeyman time so if you're able to get that information out faster and be more accurate and quicker it's gonna be massive because sometimes you know you may have bosses that are in meetings or you may have a foreman that's really busy with something else and you have a question you want to make a mistake you don't want to tear something out you just installed so this is gonna make us way more productive I believe and also the integration of AR to be able to see a 3d model of something and be able to compare on your phone exactly where something's supposed to land the same way that you can uh, take an Amazon object and then place it in your house somewhere be able to see that same thing when it comes to where a wall should land or where opening for uh, HVAC should be at or um, if your backing is at the right height so that when you are installing your uh, bathroom accessories you're gonna hit something solid that's gonna be huge to see those conflicts before you're already too far gone because as they say the first Further on in the project you go, when it comes to fixing a mistake, it's gonna cost exponentially more money to fix because if you're taking off sheetrock, you have to repaint, sanding, mudding, all that costs money. So if you can catch it in the rough phase, you're gonna save your company and yourself so much more time. That's gonna make you so much more productive also. One of the things that I also think is gonna be really beneficial is to be able to give out directions to whether it be apprentices or journeymen alike and be able to communicate things by showing things visually already us people in the trades usually work better with our hands and so sometimes we may not be the best communicators it's kind of hard to describe exactly where something lands without having a visual representation of where things go so so to be able to take something in a 3d model and say okay listen I want you to put backing here or I want you to fur this wall out and this places or a mistake was made here fix this this direct thing being able to see that is going to be massive for our industry being able to have utilized 
360 cameras to show exactly where things are supposed to be at or to track your productivity show, listen, what did you do all day today? You can show, listen, boom, break out your phone. I was here, I did this, I did this, I did this. And be able to track that progress, it's gonna be great for apprentices and journeymen alike to see that you know, you're know you on you're on task, you're doing the project correctly. I think that's gonna be huge. And I think that's just not just AI technology, but just utilizing the stuff that we have with us already. Now, some people might not agree with me, but I could see them utilizing a lot more cameras and being surveyed a lot more the same way that the trucker industry with the threat of automation has made it pretty much that they can record you inside your cab and record everything you're doing, your mileage, how long you're stopping. I could definitely see them utilizing that in construction under the guise of safety. Uh, of course, it is going to make you safer. You're going to see a lot more cameras seeing potential like fall hazards or you're not using proper PPE and constantly staying on top of you. So I could definitely see why the companies are going to want to implement that, but also at the same time, like having every single action videotaped, recorded, it's going to make it a lot more transactional. And whether you like it or not, I think those things are going to come down the pipeline, whether, whether you want them or not. I think that's going to be uh, too good of a thing for the construction industry not to adopt. I could see them, like I said, using 3D cameras where they can kind of ping exactly where you are and see what you're doing and maybe see if you're making a mistake right then and there, real time. I see them utilizing that more, just like body cam footage on a police officer. So I see as technology goes, it's gonna become a lot more like focus on safety, but also tracking your productivity in a way that like would be like unfounded in earlier times in history. So obviously there's some benefits when it comes to not breaking like OSHA violations, seeing potential like fall hazards or ways that you could get injured, making sure all those are alleviated, but also them having a way tighter grip on exactly what you're doing every day and whether that be a good thing or a bad thing, that's kind of up to you. This is another thing that's kind of a pro and a con. I was recently on a job, I can't speak about the company itself, but on the job, we had our whole entire frame package pretty much cut out for us. Like when it came to window seals, the stud layout, everything was already printed on uh, the lumber itself. And so that makes it so you don't have to have as much space, you don't have to have uh, a cut station. Pretty much all you need is the area to uh, make the panels and stand them up. Everything's pretty much already there for you. It's all dummy proof. And why I see that being a benefit is it's gonna make you so much faster. The guesswork is gonna be out of it. You know exactly what you need. There's not gonna be apprentices cutting things, you know, inching things or maybe not cutting it straight. Everything's already there for you. Everything's labeled, you know, uh, two dash one. This is all this wall. And so it's gonna show exactly where the seal goes, where all the studs go. Everything's gonna be there for you. Now, why I say that's a negative because a lot of the fundamentals that it takes to become a journeyman are gonna kind of be alleviated. Like if you were to go to school when you first start off and you're learning math and you're just hand a calculator, it's gonna make it very difficult for you to understand the basics of why you're doing a certain thing instead of just painting by numbers. Hey, this goes here, nail this, boom, boom, boom. And then not knowing exactly what you're doing, kind of making you more like a robot. Obviously, you're more productive, but because you're you kind of grown in your apprenticeship and this process, if you were to go to a place that didn't have that same technology, you would be screwed. And also, it makes it so that you're not as um, versatile because you don't understand the fundamentals. So I can definitely see because we have such a huge worker shortage and we don't have as many people there out there teaching a lot of older guys. They've kind of seemed to retire a lot of them now. A lot of younger guys can be brought up with the whole just this goes here this goes here, nail it together and send it and not knowing, hey, if a mistake is happening, how to cross and check to make sure that you're not gonna be standing walls that you know aren't framed properly because you don't know any other way. You don't know exactly how to fix the problem because again, you don't know the fundamentals. Another big con that I see moving forward is you're gonna see a lot of the older generation that is not technologically savvy kind of getting pushed out of the back door of our industry. Guys who have more hands-on experience who have seen millions of different things and know how to fix those with the tools we have right now are gonna kind of get pushed out because they're not gonna utilize the newest apps, the way to make you more productive. And so I know a lot of great carpenters who aren't superintendents because they don't have that 
email savvy. They don't want to use the technology as well, computers. And so I can definitely see that gap and that chasm growing wider and wider, especially if you're seeing a lot of jobs get destroyed in the white collar industry. I can see a lot of those guys flooding in, trying to become you know project managers, engineers, superintendents in the construction side with no hands-on knowledge, but they can utilize all these apps. And so I definitely see that being the case. So you're going to have to make yourself indispensable as possible. So keep learning and reading up on technology, seeing where these things are going, see if you take some classes at your training center. Try to make yourself on the cutting edge as possible because that's how you're going to be more successful. If you wait until everything is just given to you, you're going to be, you know, at the bottom of the pack. You're going to be behind everybody else. So try to make sure that you're staying up on all the new things coming down the pipeline so you can make yourself more productive. It's one thing to have all the best tools when it comes to, you know, drills and saws, but it's another huge thing to be able to, to point out huge colossal mistakes that might happen if you utilize this technology when it comes to AR and those things. So make sure you're kind of staying on your game because that's how you're going to be successful and that's how you're going to move up in the industry. I guarantee it. And one of the biggest elephants in the room is going to be job disruption and job elimination. There are going to be certain uh, certain sectors of construction that are pretty much going to be eliminated as time progresses forward, whether it be like bricklaying or rebar tying, um, especially when it comes to like wide scale, like highways or huge uh, slabs. They're building robots now that can tie rebar a lot faster. They don't need any brakes. And it doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees outside or it's, you know, 35 degrees. It's going to have a lot more capabilities, especially if it can work, uh, you know, 24 seven and handle a job. And one day that might take a whole crew a couple weeks so obviously there's gonna be a huge investment up front to pay for these technologies but overall it's gonna pay for the business so you want to make sure that you are uh, staying on top and kind of figuring out like what are the harder jobs to replace what are the things that are looking like can be eliminated right now and trying to navigate those waters the same way with the wider economy make sure you're staying on your toes because these are very very important times now let's talk about uh, another huge benefit is going to be for the owners, shareholders, and also employees, being able to have a more balanced timeline, a balanced budget, so you can utilize all your past jobs and see exactly how much something's gonna cost. I've been on a couple jobs where something crucial was missed and now the whole job is, you know, $50,000 in the hole just starting out, and that's very stressful on management and the employees because they're looking for ways to make that money back or shift certain things from other tasks to try to fill in those voids so you want to make sure that you're very accurate I think AI is going to play a great role because it can see the whole entire plans and it makes sure you don't miss those crucial steps and also for the timeline aspect being able to utilize drones and different cameras to be able to communicate to the owners exactly where you are on each phase then be able to check up on it and then maybe not having to come in every single day or come Coming in, you know, once a, once a month to have a meeting, being able to show them all that footage so they have a good idea every day so they feel more comfortable. If uh, something's running uh, slower, if a mistake uh, was found or, you know, a flaw was seen, that you're able to communicate those things to the owners to show why this certain process is taking longer. Or if you are going to have a, say you're not going to finish on time, you'll be able to see that beforehand so maybe you can man up and have a lot more guys on the job site so you're not we're at the last minute trying to work, you know, six days a week, seven days a week to make that money up when you could have loaded up manpower five months in advance. So you make sure you stay on target. So that's going to be very, very huge when it comes to AI and being able to utilize these new technologies. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. If you guys have any questions, ask me in the comment section. I reply to all comments. And if you want to have a more thorough conversation, join the discord. It's going to be in the description. I appreciate you guys. See you guys next time. Peace.